What's going on guys, Jerm here from Jam Q Gaming, and I recently upgraded to Vegas 64. Um, I got rid of my two Furies, well I didn't really get rid of them, they're sitting on a shelf being displayed to the world of people who walk into my room and see them sitting on the shelf. Nonetheless, upgraded to Vegas 64, and I'm pretty sure you've seen that on a ton of other sources that it uses a bunch of power um it has a problem maintaining you know in some cases it's default maximum core clocks um undervolting gives you more performance you know and all that stuff and all that stuff's fine and great but um editing the power play tables to increase power limit um gives you a lot more um I guess gives you a lot more, not really a lot more, but more headroom for Vega to perform as I guess it was meant to perform. Um, now, if you're interested in undervolting, this might me not might not be. Well, I guess sure it can be. Um, you can edit the um, actual power play tables to accomplish things like increasing your overall power limit from 50% to say 100% or you know greater you can change your the default voltages the default core clocks and the default um, HPM settings if you so choose to um, anyway you can download the specified power play tables um, for your card from overclock.net um, a guy or a user over there by the name of Helm who's been providing you know most of the information and uh, he provided the power play tables you know themselves to be edited and all that stuff if you want to check that out you can read about it over on the forums over there I'll link it in the description nonetheless to get started once you download the power play table for your respective card, again, from the link I link in the description, you're going to open it up and you're going to have this table here. Um, open up your calculator so you can do like some conversions. If you can do conversions from like base 10 decimal text to decimal in your head, I don't think you need this video, but you know, this is what I used to do it. Anyway, so the values you want to be able to change. This 64 right here, or this value right here, corresponds to the um, power limit percentage. So by default, it's 50%, and that's a value of 32. 64 is a value of 100%, and 8E is a value of 142%, I believe. Yes, so you can put that value there to change that. If you want to change the P-state voltages, so this... These two values correspond to P-state 7, and these two values correspond to P-state 6. So to do that, you want whatever voltage you want. So for P-state 7, I'm running 1,250 um, millivolts. You just want to type in your you know, 1,250, and uh, your base 10 decimal is going to give you the hexadecimal for it. Now, to put this into the table, you need to reverse the values. So take the E2, put that first, and then the 0, 4. Even though there's a 4 here, you need to lead it with the 0. So E204. These correspond to P-state 6, which in my case, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's fine. Um, these two values correspond to should be 1200, which is your B04. After that, you can edit these things down here. Now, these three values, which have the 07, um, by these correspond to the core clocks for P state 7. So you can change these as you see fit. Um, to get the value to hexadecimal that you want, you need to type in the core clock that you want, say, you know, 1687 megahertz or hertz rather, and you need to trail it by two zeros. And I don't think that's what I have there. I think I have 1777 trail it with two zeros. And this again, will give you the hexadecimal that you need. Again, you reverse it, so 14 goes first, followed by, hmm, I'm curious as in to have that set. That might have been what I accidentally changed. So 14 goes first, followed by the 8F, followed by the 02, and that corresponds to 1,677 hertz. 
um, the values for P state six right here. So these are the three values you want to change that correspond with that. And this, if memory serves, should be 1632. Again, followed by two zeros, and that gives you the values you need to put in once again to set that up. After that, you have HBM, the HBM clocks. You can't change HBM voltage, but that voltage slider doesn't correspond to memory voltage anyway. In one of Bill's old Bill Zoid's videos, he discussed it as being a part of or it affecting core voltage. But it doesn't matter, you can't change that in the power play tables that at least that I'm aware of. Again, you can correct me if I'm wrong if you can, because I would like to know that. Um so for HBM clocks, again, type in the clocks you want. I'm running mine at 11.05. Trail it with two zeros. You'll get the A4, AF1, and those values are there. So these are the three values that um, determine the HBM voltage. So once you change everything, get everything how you like it, you just save it. Make sure that's right. Yep. You just save it, and um, you can close that. Where do I have that saved? I think it's here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. You run that. It is going to put it in your power. I'm just going to put it in the registry, and you can see that here. So the one we're editing um, is this one. You can open up this one. You can see the values are, you know, this is the table we were editing. Anyway, puts the table, puts the information in here. And then you can restart your computer, and I guess I'll show you what the values are after I restart. We are back. We are in ready on settings, so let's um, change this to custom, apply that, and we can look at the new values we set, and these are the new values, oh, and, you know, we can increase that to 100%, and we can apply those now, and so that's how... Um, editing the power play tables goes um if that was useful i guess like the video i don't know comment critique i don't make a lot of these i'm just getting into this whole stuff so i have a lot to learn and progress in 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 this video making and tutorial stuff so just let me know if this was helpful and uh that is all